Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your Noon Time Wrap. ISIS claims responsibility for a series of blasts in Jakarta Thursday, January 14th. At least seven people are dead from the attacks that rocked a major business hub. ISIS says it targeted citizens of the U.S.-led alliance against the jihadists. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry condemns the attacks, says the group is inviting its own destruction. In the Middle East, ISIS also claims an assault on a Pakistani TV station, warning the media against, quote, concealing facts. A survey in the Philippines shows Vice President Jejomar Binay leads the presidential race. A social weather station survey conducted from January 8th through 10th shows Binay is back at the top at 31% from 26% in December. Senator Grace Poe drops to 24% from 26%. Administration standard bearer Mar Rojas also drops to 21% from 22%. Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte remains at 20% and Senator Miriam Sanchago lags behind at 3% from 4%. Senator Chis Escudero is the top choice for vice president at 28% from 30% in December. Senator Bongbong Marcos has the most dramatic increase to 25% from 19%. Camarines Sur Representative Lenny Robredo drops to 17% from 19%. Senator Alan Cayetano goes down to 14% from 17%. Senator Gringo Onasan remains at 8% and Senator Sunny Trillanes at 3% from 5%. <laughs> British actor Alan Rickman dies of cancer Thursday. He was 69. Rickman shot to international fame in 1988 for his role as a terrorist opposite Bruce Willis in Die Hard. Celebrities expressed their condolences on social media, including author J.K. Rowling, Hugh Jackman, and Charlie Sheen. Rickman also won a Golden Globe for Best Actor in 1996 for Rasputin, Dark Servant of Destiny. He gained a legion of younger fans for his role as Severus Snape in the Harry Potter franchise from 2001 to 2011. And that's the Noontime Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.